Growing up, I always thought that becoming a missionary meant that I would achieve this angelic status and automatically know all of God's mysteries. However, once I became a missionary, I quickly found out that this wasn't the case and that my preconceptions were pretty off. And that is what I want to talk about today, the realities of being a missionary. The first reality I found out when I became a missionary is that missionaries are not perfect. Shocking, I know. In my mind, I thought that after a few weeks in the MTC, I would automatically become like Nephi. Minus the beheading thing, of course. Oh! I quickly found out that I actually had to study the scriptures and build a relationship with God like everyone else. This sounds obvious now, but it wasn't back then. I also found out that disobedient missionaries exist, which was disappointing for me. On the first day on the mission field, I still remember walking in my apartment in Argentina and meeting some of the other missionaries that were living with us. I noticed that one of them was talking on the phone with a girl, which wasn't weird at first, however they kept on talking for a while and being flirty on the phone which surprised me. I asked my trainer what was going on and he just looked at me and said that they've asked him to stop but that he kept doing it and that was the end of the conversation. I still remember feeling disappointed because I thought all missionaries were obedient and had strong testimonies, but that just isn't the case. However, the majority of missionaries are good people that try their best to follow the rules but still have faults just like the rest of us. The second reality I faced as a missionary was that most people don't want to join the church. I served in Argentina where people are generally more receptive to speaking with missionaries about God. However, our teaching to baptism rate was still extremely low. I started to realize that the mission is a numbers game. The more people you speak with, the more likely you will find someone who is actually ready to be baptized. As a missionary, you are not only looking for people who are willing to listen to you, but looking for those whose hearts are ready to change or accept the gospel. You can be the greatest missionary to ever live, but if their hearts are hardened, they won't change. Which sucks. Some weeks you can find multiple golden investigators. In other weeks, you just run into people who don't want to listen or just want to argue. This can take a heavy toll on most missionaries. However, one of the biggest lessons I learned from the mission is that as long as you put your faith in God, things will be okay. Not always as you plan them, but for your benefit. The last thing I realized about being a missionary is that your whole heart, mind, and soul are consecrated to God and the gospel. You are constantly studying the gospel, pondering the gospel, and talking about the gospel. This was difficult for me at first because even though I did like the gospel growing up, it wasn't exactly my first priority. Video games were. Confession time. One of my initial biggest fears about going on the mission wasn't that I wasn't going to see my family for two years, but that I wasn't going to be able to play video games for two years. I know. Hashtag first world missionary problems. Being totally dedicated to the gospel is one of the best and most difficult things about the mission. You don't have to worry about money, schooling, or a career as a missionary. Your only objective as a missionary is to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with others and bring them closer to God, which is an amazing opportunity that most people in the world don't get the chance to do. Spiritually, I grew exponentially during these 24 months, and some of my happiest memories are those of the mission. I am happy that I had this opportunity, and anyone who is thinking of serving a mission, I highly recommend it. But with the warning that the mission isn't just sunshine and rainbows, which sometimes we think it is. It is a roller coaster of highs and lows. And there will be times where you wish you were just home with your family. But if you do it for the right reasons, it could be one of the most rewarding experiences of your life. And thank you for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe to my channel to watch a new video every week. Talk to you later.